Welcome back to Girl Talk. Kristen Dubrowski joins us now, the executive director of CODA, okay. which is a great organization. You're out in yeah. Bluffton, is that correct? Our main location yeah, is in Beaufort. Is in Beaufort. Beaufort. Yes, okay. the satellite office in Bluffton. And it's citizens opposed to domestic abuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how long have you been ex executive director? For five years. Wow. Okay. And how how long has the organization been uh, together? Since 1986. Since, Since 86. 86. And, wow. and kind of give an overview of what, what, yeah, what you're doing, doing. What, mm -hmm. what is available. So our mission is to provide professional supportive services to victims of intimate partner violence oh, in Beaufort, awful. Calton, Hampton, and Jasper counties. We're the only organization providing these services in those four counties. Pretty scary so stuff. It can be. And so we offer a 24-hour hotline. That's a victim's first point of contact with okay. us. Um, emergency safe shelter. Okay. So if folks you know need to flee their homes for their safety, yeah, that's and that's, that's, that's in Beaufort County, County, or is mm -hmm. that everywhere? It's in Beaufort County. Like even if you live on Hilton Head. And yes, and, and we, like it's said, available to, to, to the entire. But do world. people know where? Because I used to work with the um, Junior League on mm -hmm. your our Christmas event mm -hmm. with Coda, and um, isn't the home not supposed to be the location necessarily published? Right. So it's nobody really knows where it okay. is. Yeah. Oh, so okay. that so in case so for the person yes. would want to come. And get their family yeah. out yeah. of the home. They mm -hmm. don't know so where we'll it say is. So we'll say it's in Bluffton. It's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it is. Yes. So <laughs> emergency safe shelter. Since I yes. interrupted. What yes. Else? Yes. We offer um, counseling for victims, adult victims, and their children. So okay. individual and group counseling. Um, case management services, so yeah. linking people with other community resources that might be able to assist Very, them. Yeah. Uh, legal services, we actually um, are able to assist with orders of protection, mm -hmm. um, custody issues, divorce, divorce. other issues yeah. related to the domestic violence. Um, and we have a transitional housing program for folks who are exiting shelter um, and you know making their way back into being self-sufficient, so we're able to provide a rental subsidy for them for up to 24 months um, wow. in the apartment of their choosing. And, and how long do they, does the typical person stay in the, um, the home and then transition? Mm -hmm. For folks going into transitional housing program, it's around 60 days. Okay. Um, that's the maximum length of stay at the shelter, although... And not to mention that the economy is still bad, but I imagine that would probably, your does, business is pretty much booming too because <laughs> unfortunately... It, it definitely makes it more challenging for folks yeah. who come into shelter to then, you know, if they need to find a new yeah. job to get employment and then find um, affordable housing. Because you probably find that some of the women feel trapped, trapped. or stuck because or of men. I guess you're men too. Right? Yes, yeah. yes, we do. Because of financial yes. limitations or challenges mm -hmm. that they feel like they're stuck. So this gives them an opportunity mm -hmm. to have a fresh start and maybe give them a little bit of a, a leg up on, on a new life. Yes, and one of the things too that you mentioned, the economy, what we're seeing, there are many, many barriers to someone leaving an abusive relationship as you can imagine, and the economy has definitely become one of them. So we've actually seen over the past few years uh, slightly fewer people coming into the shelter because they're choosing to stay in the relationship. Because oh, there's, yeah. but fortunately, all of our services are available on an outreach basis as well. Okay. So you don't need to be staying in the shelter to access counseling, legal services, case management. So they might be able to help the person put together a plan, Absolutely. even though that they're still living mm -hmm. in the abusive situation. Yeah. But it's interesting because that's kind of sad because I feel like financial hard ships probably lead to more violence in the home of and then right. so Anger. really there's probably yeah. more need to get out but right. then there's more trapping because yeah. the person there's no money to save or right. uh, mm -hmm. such yeah, a there can be a correlation and do you find it all people, over yeah. as far as people that are educated non-educated mm -hmm. high income low income is it all over the board yes. I guess and then I mentioned women but then yeah. you had said okay. men also yeah we do yeah. serve male victims 99% um, of the victims we serve each year are female um, yeah. And we aren't able to house male yeah. victims at our shelter, but we can provide housing through uh, our houses scary. and things. Do, do children call, like uh, teenagers or? On occasion, uh, mainly. It's available to them, right? Or is The it counseling services are okay. available. As far as the shelter goes, the kids who come into shelter are coming in with oh, their okay. mother. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do anything yeah. with the school systems? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So we do have a community education program, um, and so we do presentations in the schools and to different community groups. And we have a partnership with um, CAPA mm -hmm. and Hope Haven of the Low Country called yeah. the mm -hmm. Abuse Prevention yeah. Coalition, um, where we're providing um, something really cool called uh, Most Clubs. It's Men of Strength Clubs. And it's it's a curriculum offered to young men in middle and high schools wow. to help them really um, trying to prevent 
abuse and really help them um, define what it means to be male in the society in that a positive way. That is amazing, way. so that the yeah. generational Absolutely. tendencies Stop. are stopped. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. How are you all, oh, I'm sorry. Um, how are you? Funded. Funded. Yes. <laughs> you are so smart. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Um, the majority of our funding is um, federal funding. And, um, and some okay, state sorry, funding. I wasn't listening. Go back. It's <laughs> I'm sorry. We're, she was we're laughing. laughing. We were laughing at Mike. <laughs> so federal. We federal, get a lot okay. of federal funding, okay. um, state funding, local foundations. We are a United okay. Way agency. Okay. Um, we definitely okay. we rely on community support as well Perfect. because even with the federal funding, most of that requires at least a 20% local match. So we leverage wow. funds into the community by bringing in community donations. And do you do special fundraisers or is it just people are sending in donations? Um, how do mm -hmm. people support you? We do both. Okay. Um, we do have some fundraisers throughout the year. Um, we do a couple direct mail campaigns. Okay. Um, and you can go online, right? Yes, on your website? we do have a website, okay, kodalowcountry.org, and there's a, a link to donate through that, through PayPal. What about volunteering? Do you need yeah. any type of um, personal support, um, like for any of us that want to get involved? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are always looking for volunteers. Um, volunteers can help out in a variety of capacities. They can assist with our board of directors and help them with fundraising if that's you know mm -hmm. special events, mm -hmm. if that's what they're really interested in. Or they can do direct service. Um, we have a lot of volunteers who answer the hotline, who mm -hmm. provide transportation to the women staying at the shelter. Wow. Yeah. Um, you know, then help out with office tasks and things like that. Go to health fairs and staff booths. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, Maybe. there's lots yeah. of different things yeah. that are. Okay, how, how did you get involved? Are we ready to go? Yeah, okay, got, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you can tell me later after. <laughs> <laughs> secret how she got involved. But it, was, <laughs> it was great having you on. Thank you so much. And, and again, for anyone who has that need or has a question, again, we talked a little off camera about some of the folks that might not realize that they have that there is an issue because that's just what they know yeah. and um, they have there are counselors and, and people Absolutely. there to, to call and just get some guidance mm -hmm. on, on knowing a better and different way so thank you again Kristen and donate as well go to the website Absolutely. we'll be right back here on Girl Talk Girl Talk is brought to you by J Banks Design The Greenery Stoneworks Custom Audio Video and by Island Tire and Automotive Services. Please support these businesses who make our program possible.